But my husband and I was watching the news about a month or two ago, a couple of months ago, and there was this story on the news about this young boy who had been in a really, really bad accident. Mm -hmm. And he was on life support. And they got to, so to the point that the medics said there was nothing else that they can do for him and that they should take, off, take him off life support and said that the day before the schedule taking him off the life support that his parents had, the day before that, the boy woke up. All right. All right. All right. And once the boy woke up, he progressively began his rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. And on the news, the boy said, they did his whole story and how he came through, and the young boy out of the mouth of children said it had to be God. All right. Amen. 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 hear that when God gets the glory. See, that was on nationwide television. All right. All right. So it was at the end of the clip, but that young boy said that it had to be God. Amen. 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 See, that's faith. That's understanding. Yeah. Where from. Yes. Yes. But as we address our faith and get ourselves to great faith, there are some things that we have to understand about building our faith. See, our words are a fountain of life. James 3. So the most dangerous part of our body is the tongue, Amen. is the mouth. Amen. Amen. Because see, we have praises on Sunday morning coming out of our mouth. But then on Monday morning, when we got to go back to work, we got cursing. Come on now. All right. Or if you walk out to church and somebody cuts you off in the parking lot, we got cursing. But see, you can't have blessings and cursings coming from the same mouth. Amen. See, cursing is not just profanity, but, but cursing is speaking negatively. It's having bitterness and hostility yes. and resentment yes. when you speak and talk and talk about people, talk to people. Yes. When you have those things in there, that's a form of cursing. Yes. And you can't have the blessings of praises, hallelujah, in one minute. And then you won't, you're having discord. Yes. You're having anxiety. You're having depression. You're having stress. You're having tension. Uh -huh. You have emotional distress, uh -huh. worry, offense, hatred, and bitterness. See, these things affect your peace yeah. and your rest, yeah. but it also affects your health. Yes, yes, so in Matthew 6 and 14, it says, for if you forgive men of their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But you can't just say it. You have to be genuine about it. Amen. Okay? So you may say, oh, I don't have a problem with them. I ain't mad with them no more. But don't let them say nothing to me. <laughs> you know? That, that doesn't go together. You have to have a genuineness of heart. And when you hear all the time and people do these posts is that, you know, you forgive that other person because you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for yourself. Well, see, that's real. That's real talk of the Bible. You can't have an alt against your brother or your sister and not deal with it, address it, and let it go. Amen. You have to have a peace about it. And see, so many times people walk around with resentment and strife in their hearts mm -hmm. against someone, and that person's going to live their best life. Right. Amen. Amen. Okay? But you still here dealing with an issue that you give in life, and it has no purpose. Amen. Right? But it's potentially blocking your blessing. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 21, 23 says, whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from trouble. Mm -hmm. Guard your words, guard your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of the most miserable people are those people who always have something negative to say about right. everything. Amen. 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 They gotta find the problem rather than the solution. Yeah. All right. They gotta find the blame rather than giving the accolades. Yeah. Amen. They never see anything positive. Mm. But see, when you see that and you hear that, don't get on that bandwagon. Right. 
like, it's easy for them to grab you in and be like, yeah, that's what it'd be like. You know, there should have been two lines on there instead of one. Yeah. You know, we've got to look at the positive mm -hmm. and be optimistic and have our faith. Mm -hmm. See, when faced with challenges, and we all are, especially during these days and times, yeah. we've got to be careful not to claim it. Not to speak it, mm -hmm. not to give it life, and don't allow others around you mm -hmm. to give it life, no matter who it is. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's the closest people to you that think they're doing you some good, mm -hmm. but they're speaking negatively mm -hmm. because that's just what comes out. Mm -hmm. So you've got to not receive that and not claim it, but guard yourself. You know, a lot of times people, they address your issue up front. Well, how's that headache? How's that backache? How's that knee doing? How how you how you feeling lately? Is it still bothering you? No, I don't have none of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm receiving my healing. Right. I'm speaking faith over that. I'm not claiming it. All right. Or the ones that say, I'm broke as a joke. These bills are killing me. If I get another whatever, I'm going to lose my mind over here. <laughs> Because so you don't call yourself crazy because you're going to lose your mind. <laughs> you're killing yourself because of the stress yeah. of the money. Be careful what you speak over yourself. Yeah. Well, you know he ain't no good. He ain't never going to change. He's just like his daddy. He's going to be the same way. All right. You know, that child is a mess. He's a hoodlum. He's a thug. He's going to end up right there on the streets. Look at her. You know what they say about her. She's been in them streets. She's on those drugs. She ain't gonna change. Mm -hmm. Speak these words often enough, you give them life. Amen. Come on now. Instead of that, speak words of encouragement over people, yeah. despite what they're going through. Amen. Give them hope. Mm -hmm. Keep your faith, mm -hmm. especially when you look like you're faced with obstacles. Mm -hmm. That's when God shows up. And shows out. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you can do it. You can do it. Just to say that you believe and have faith, you gotta act on that faith. You gotta walk that faith. You gotta talk that faith. And you gotta do it daily and consistently. You gotta be on your. You gotta be your own advocate for your faith walk. You have to have a relationship with God and the Holy Spirit. Your faith is essential. As essential to you as the water you drink that you need for hydration. Your faith is as essential as the food you eat. Your faith is essential as the air you need to breathe. Your faith is essential for your healing and your peace. Your faith is essential. See, so call upon the Lord, because that's the name that's exalted above all names, and he will answer your prayers. He may not come when you call him, but what? See, so your Christianity tells you to have faith and believe in the word of God. But you have to have a deep personal relationship with God. You have a deep personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. And then you will see your miracle healing. You will see the changes happen in your life. But you've got to have a relationship with God. Amen. So you got to be clear. you got to be specific when you ask him. Yeah. So you gotta be, you can't be low nilly willy and be generic. You gotta come to the Lord with a powerful boldness and command of what it is that you desire. And when the enemy tries to attack you, you have an even stronger command and demand Amen. of rebuking the devil mm -hmm. and binding the enemy. The words will keep them away. So you can't rely on your own understanding because your flesh and the things of the world will tell you that you can't do it, that it can't happen, mm -hmm. that it's not within your might. Mm -hmm. But see, we're in the hands, the right hand of Almighty Father who will give you the power and the might you to do those it. things which man says can't yeah, be done. Yeah. So there are some, some scriptures. And see, you have to look at your faith walk with God just like you, no, not just like, even better than you do your job. Mm -hmm. The commitment that you have to your job, the dedication that you have to get a project due, you have to have that same level of com commitment to our Heavenly Father in his word and your faith, building your faith as you do with any of those other things that you think are important in your life. 
So I suggest that you get scripture and you put it where you are all the time, whether it's in your car, you know, on your phone, um, at your desk or what have you, and make sure that you reference it at least three times a day. Have scripture, scripture that's important to you that helps build your faith. So then when something comes at you, you have a go-to right there. That, that scripture that you can read. For example, in Matthew 11, 28 to 30, come to me, all you, you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. See, Jesus will remove your heavy burdens of guilt and hopelessness. You just have to trust in him. In Isaiah 41 and 13, for I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, fear not, I will help you. Amen. See, God promises to support and help us through our trials and our tribulations. In 1 Peter 5, verses 6 and 7, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. See, just knowing your Heavenly Father cares about you personally gives you hope and makes the load lighter. See, in Matthew 6 and 13, this one you all should definitely have. Lead me not into temptation right, and deliver me from evil. All right. Now, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Lead me not into temptation and deliver me from evil. See, that applies to every aspect in your life because you know the devil is tempting you every day. Oh, yes, yeah. Amen. You've got to have the power to say, uh -uh, I'm not going down that road. All right. I'm not going with you there. So when you ask the Lord to guard your temper, but then someone is talking about you, or says something about you that you don't like, or says something to you that you don't like, or cut you off on the road, and you feel like you gotta get up and express your peace of mind, leave me not in temptation. Right. Deliver me from evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, when you ask the Lord to get you out of debt, but then you go to the mall and see a pair of shoes that you want to buy. Amen. I say this prayer, baby. I say this prayer. I please. <laughs> Lead me not into temptation. I'm trying to get the credit score. I can't get all this debt, right? When you ask the Lord to take away your addictions, but you go to a party or a social event, and you figure one drink won't hurt. Lead me not into temptation. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. See, when you ask the Lord to restore your marriage, but you say he's just a friend, but it's a little too friendly, or the grass looks green on the other side, look closely because it's artificial turf. All right, all right. See, don't, don't cover your neighbor's house with jealousy and envy regarding possessions. Amen. Lead me not into temptation. All right. Deliver me from evil. See, we have to have a walk and talk with God daily. Yeah. Our faith is essential as the air we breathe. Amen. See, we can't just say about say it. We got to be about our Father's business. And God wants to use us to build his kingdom. He wants his children happy. He wants his children to live in peace Amen. and harmony and be able to get that rest. But he knows that it's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit, but it starts with his word. It starts with planting his word on the inside of you that it resonates on the outside. That when people see you, they see the word of God. They know your faith and they wanna get what you got. So I pray to you today that you mount up with wings like eagles and get your faith and fly free in peace and in rest. I pray that the peace of the Lord be with you, mind, body, and soul, and I thank you for having me here.